time zone, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it is your boy, Sleepy Rui. We are back again. I know, double uploads yesterday, and we uploaded again today. Who the fuck is this guy? Y'all already know what the fuck it is, what the fuck going on. One take Drake, unedited Andy. We are back for another, yes, another uh, Nintendo recap video because they just seem to like shoving content down my throat. I would tell you how I am, but y'all already seen yesterday video. I dropped two videos. I already talked to y'all twice, but I hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all having a good day. Pokemon dropped another overview trailer on us. That's five minutes and thirty seconds long. So you know your boy had to cut the OBS on during his lunch break because the grind never stops. Real shit. I am drinking a cup of coffee because I'm tired. So, mm. if you catch me talking a little fast today, we know we're a little speedier than usual. If I'm a little too hyperactive. It's the coffee, bro. It's the coffee, it's too much sugar in this, and it's definitely dark as night. Real shit, no Batman. Anyway, let's get into it, bro. We got limited time today. I'm filming under pressure today, bro. Let's react. Let's see what we got going. If you are a big fan of the leaks, you know my boys over at Central Leaks got it going on. I will not post their channel here directly or do nothing crazy so Nintendo don't clap me up. But Centro, the goats over at Centro, big shouts to them, real shit. If you're looking to talk leaks, Leaks. We can talk leaks in my Discord. We can talk leaks on Funny Bird app in the DMs. And there's also plenty of leaks with my boy Centro. Trust and believe. But for now, let's get into the official shit. The actual tea Pokemon is giving us. This game drops on the 18th of November this Friday. I am having a Pokathon, aka a Subathon, aka a Marathon on my channel on twitch.tv slash sleepyreary. But for now, let's let's just get into it, bro. Put the tape on. Come on now, let's go. What you got from Pokemon? Where will you go? What will you achieve? It's up to you. This is your okay. adventure, your journey. Every time I see Mareep, I have to let y'all know Mareep come back, and I'm so happy about my precious baby Mareep, Flaffy, and Ampharos. Mwah, chef's kiss. Your very own treasure hunt. Vast natural expanses and vibrant Slow poke confirmed here in the Paldea region. Vespa Quinn confirmed. Your journey begins with enrollment at an academy in the heart of Paldea. All right, which we knew. You'll meet your teachers. I did not mean to pause here. I wanted to go back. This is just the library in the academy, and this game is so expansive. I will say it again. This game is entirely open world. They give you options from the start. If you didn't know, it is very much the most open world thing we'll probably ever get from Pokemon. And everyone is saying that it looks like this entire map, all of Paldea, is 40% bigger than all of Legends Arceus combined. Now... Considering we don't really get Omega open world stuff in Pokemon, considering 40% bigger, all of Arceus, which was previously the most open world game we ever had. Ooh wee Let's just play it, bro. Come on. You'll meet your teachers, classmates, and senior students here at the Academy. The Academy's director, Clavel, will announce the- He's the bad guy, suck me. The independent study assignment, the treasure hunt. And so, your quest to find something you might always treasure begins. To start, you'll select your first partner Pokemon. I want to talk about this real quick. Um, this is not really a thing I want to go too far into for obvious reasons, but uh, comment down below, bro, if you've seen what I think we've all seen, and we know how these Pokemon turn out. Uh, regardless of whether you, what you pick, Sprigatito, Quaxley, or Fococo, I will not spoil them directly in this video, but I have seen every stage of these Pokemon. I genuinely believe no matter what you pick, you will be happy. Uh, and I think this is one of those games where, quite frankly, if you find something to be upset about, you were just mad in the first place, because this game looking like some heat. First partner Pokemon, Sprigatito, Fuecoco, or Quaxley. So swaggy. The legendary Pokemon Coridon or Maridon will also help you during your travels. With the support of your Pokemon, you'll be able to explore more and more places. 
Also, real quick, this isn't really important, but I want to talk about this. A lot of people slander Coridon for having wheels, but them not actually moving. Well, if people paid attention for five seconds, they would realize that Coridon does not really have wheels. The wheel-shaped things on Coridon's body, that's an air sac. It's an amphibian with an air, or a lizard with an air sac. It won't move because they help it stay in the air while it's flying, or help it be buoyant while it's swimming. Like, wh wh and help give it traction while it's running. That's why it's using its legs. But, you know, I, I could do a whole rant on Coridon, but the lo a lot of Pokemon complaints are people just not paying fucking attention. Holy shit. With the support of your Pokemon, you'll be able to explore more and more places. Okay, here we go. You can adventure through Paldea in any way you want. Where you go is entirely up to you. Love this gym leader. With local oh shit, they come in like play, that? You can explore Paldea with up to three other players. Right. There's something waiting for you around every corner. Challenge gym leaders at Pokemon Gyms. There are eight gyms in all. Tackle them in whatever order you choose. Okay. Team Star is a group of troublemakers. Also, respectfully, I'm, this is probably going to be one of those videos where I let the video play out entirely, and there might not be much to react to, because they've already showed us information several times, so I'm probably not going to hard react to, like, you being able to travel with your friends or seeing Team Star. I'll try and only speak on it if it's brand new. Which, it looks like on this mini-map here, we're seeing typings and not actual Pokemon. I wonder if that's indicating that there are fire-type Team Star members here. Because there is a Team Star base for every type. Or if that's indicating there are just fire-type Pokemon here. Who knows? Disrupting the Academy's activities. Infiltrate their hideout and defeat anyone who stands in your way. Already seen this. Say hello to Arvin. Well, you've said hello to Arvin six classroom. times now. Searching for rare herbs. Oh, now he's looking for Join weed? And tracking down these mysterious herbs said to be hidden across the Paldea region. Impact. Brief point about Titan Pokemon, since we just saw one on our screen. Uh, Titan Pokemon look to be catchable, as do Alphas as well. And by that logic, Hisuian Pokemon are coming back. We know that because Pokemon's already shown us that fact, which makes me immensely happy about being able to take care of my babies from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, I think that makes sense because Arceus was the first game that truly brought us into the past, and now this game shows us past, present, and future. So very chef's kiss Pokemon writing. I know they planned this out, so I gotta give them a real quick, you know, come on now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Back to it. Paldea, you'll encounter all kinds of Pokemon. Lechonk uses its trusty sense of smell to find food. Fido feels moist and smooth to the touch. Eel. Satitan boasts yes! a massive body and so I'm so horns. excited. Paldea Love that mon. lives on land and is enveloped in a poisonous film. Approach a wild Pokemon, and a battle will commence. Animations look a little slow. They're good, Pokemon but a little slow. In battles on their own. Again, we knew this. Show me the good shit. We're not showing me anything new. is the key to dominating battles. This phenomenon found only in the Paldea region causes Pokemon. I am very excited games. for this. I am I am over the moon about terrestrializing. I think it's gonna be a new incredible gimmick. It looks a little eh, but like like aesthetically I mean. I just think some of the designs on top of their head are a little goofy, like a giant chandelier. But overall it does look beautiful with some minor hiccups, and I think it's gonna be maybe the best gimmick yet. Who knows? Who really knows? Sorry, secondary point. Also, it must be amazing to see terrestrialized Pokemon while they're shiny with all this, like, glowing glass off of them. Holy shit. It can also make their moves stronger. All Pokemon can terrestrialize. Some okay. will even change types entirely when they do. 
These particular Pokémon can be caught in Terra Raid Battles, which can be challenged with up to three other players. Love that. Grass Magneton! Work together to defeat and catch Wild Terra Pokémon. So swaggy. Capture memorable moments from your adventure with the camera. Okay, this is somewhat new. I like this. This is adorable. You can access this anytime while you're out Well, we've and about. seen this, but not articulated. Need a makeover? Stop by a beauty salon to change up your hairstyle and look. Snap a photo with your Pokemon while you're at it. Just want to confirm something that's really cool. Uh, there's no necessary... I don't want to say there's zero gender in this game because there are some gender... Uh, specific options that are quote unquote boy or girl options, right? However, when it comes to styling your character and being unique, there are no clothing or hair or facial options that are restricted uh, behind the, the boy window or the girl window. Uh, every character gets options or access to every customizable option, and you know, we love that for obvious reasons. Come on now. You can use the photos you take to customize your profile and create your own ID card. Interesting. Have a picnic and relax. Oh, Kamala's back. Love that. Give him a good wash. This is cute. Or make a yummy sandwich together. Why do he sound so nervous? Wait. Is, wait, 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 Okay, look, there, in the background, that is Palmy's evolution. Now, I didn't want to talk about this because it wasn't technically public yet, but Pokemon is now blatantly showing it off. Uh, they're not giving a full view of it. It's hidden in the trainer's team. I respect how sneaky they're being about it, by the way. Um, but this is Palmy's evolution. It appears like it's going to have um, a very special move, and that's all I'm going to say. Uh, what we know from research is Palmy's evolution will have a very special move that will be very essential to the metagame uh, if the move goes out the way we think it's going to be. Uh, but yeah, that's Palmy's evolution right there. We don't really have a name for it yet. I mean, we do, but I refuse to make leaked content. I'll make the content when it's out. But there it is. If you haven't seen it, very cool way to sneak it in, Nintendo. Very cool way to sneak that in. Both will deepen your bond with your Pokemon. And then if you if you look in the next one, it's not fucking there. That's newish. The Paldea region is calling. What's your goddamn right it is? Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Available November 18th only on Nintendo Switch. Digital pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Okay, overall, good video. Now, that being said, if you guys didn't know, um, there are some small things you might get. Uh, from pre-ordering, I believe one bonus set from Best Buy gets you berries, and the other one gets you, uh, it's the adventure set from Nintendo or Amazon. Uh, and it gets you the adventure pack, which gives you revives, potions, and I think repels as well, too. But regardless, um, if you can afford to pre-order and you have the time and the money and the storage, I would do it worth your time. I would love it if anyone, everyone plays this game on release, obviously, not everyone can, like, have that plan in their mind but the best way to play this game i recommend is on release day uh with everyone else it's like a national fucking holiday i think this is gonna be a great game i'm really excited about it who fucking knows exactly where it will go or how good or bad it will be but i have confidence overall i do have genuine confidence overall we'll have to see but for now that is it not a lot of new information but it was cool to analyze it was nice for them to pack it all into one big five minute trailer. I think this is what they needed. If you had not seen any of the footage from the last four or five months of leaks and official content, it packs it all there together for you and gives you one last little uh, backpack of hype before Thursday night slash Friday morning. Regardless, that's gonna be it for me. If you wanna see me play Pokemon live, I will be live on my channel, twitch.tv slash sleepyriri Thursday night for the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet waiting room, and then that will turn into our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet subathon. There are incentives on my Twitter, on my Twitch, and of course now on my YouTube. But I will see you there this weekend for the most banger Pokemon game of all time. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate your big kisses. We're out of here. Mwah.